Okay, boat in the river problems. Now, we have a boat in a river, and it's going to go upstream and it's going to go downstream. First, we need to remember our equation. This rate times time, distance equals rate times time. Now, when we have boats in rivers, we have a current. And when the boat is going downstream, you add on, this is the rate of the boat, and the rate of the current is pushing it. So it's going to be the rate of the boat, the rate downstream, which we're going to replace this rate with the rate downstream, is going to be the rate of the boat plus the rate of the current. Now when the boat is going upstream, we have a problem because the current is pushing against it. So we have to subtract off the rate of the current. Some problems have C for current. This book has W for water. So if you're going downstream, you add the water current. If you're going upstream, you subtract the water current. The formula we're gonna, formulas we're going to be using is the downstream equation. It's just the same as our distance equals rate times time. Only this time, our rate downstream is going to be different than our rate upstream. So instead of putting an R, we put B plus W when it's downstream and B minus W when it's upstream. So let's give it a whirl. Robert and Clay could go 60 miles downstream in the same time it took them to go 20 miles upstream. If the speed of their boat was 8 miles per hour in still water, what was the speed of the current and what was their time? So, let's collect our information. We have, do we have the rate of the boat? Yes, it says rate Right here, the speed of their boat was 8 miles. The speed of their boat is the same going downstream as it was going upstream. So we're going to fill that in. Speed of the boat, or rate of the boat, is 8. We don't know. It says, what is the speed of the current? We don't know that, so we're going to leave that in there. It says that their times were the same. So if the times are the same, we can replace our subscripted variable with just t for the same time. And our distance downstream was 60. So it's just all pure substitution. The boat was 8. We don't know the water. The time was the same as this time. So it's the same. So we don't need a subscript. And it equals 20. We just distribute 8t plus wt equals 60. 8t, this should have been minus. That's a problem. Hold on a second. This should be minus right here. This should be minus right here. Sorry about that. Minus, minus. So 8 minus WT equals 20. And look at this. We can use elimination. So we get 8T minus WT equals 20. With elimination, we get 16T equals 120. And our time equals, whoops, that should be 80. Not 120. I don't know where I got 120. Should be 80. So our time is 5 hours. They also want to know the speed of the current. So we have to go back up. I just take one of these equations. We have 8 times 5 plus W times 5 because we know what T is. We can substitute it. Equals 60. This would be 40. So 5w equals 20, w equals 4, and it's in uh, miles, miles per hour. So make sure you put your units on there. The w is the rate, so you need miles per hour. Let's try another one. The steamboat, Juby Fountain, could go 70 miles an hour downstream. So that's going to go in our downstream column in five hours. So our time is five hours. But required six hours to go 48 miles upstream. What was the speed of the boat? So we don't know the speed of the boat. In still water, and what was the speed of the current? Actually, we don't know the boat or the current. So, this one looks challenging, doesn't it? We know the time. We know the time downstream was five. We know the time upstream was 6. So let's just substitute in what we know. 
We don't know the speed of the boat or the current, so we leave those two variables in. Time downstream was 5. Distance downstream was 70. We don't know the rate of the boat or the rate of the current. We know the time is 6, and we know the distance was 48. Let's distribute 5b plus 5w equals 70. 6b minus 6w equals 48. We'll take one equation times 6 and the other one times 5. This one times 6, obviously. This one times 5, and we can do elimination once again. So we're going to get 30b plus 30w equals 420. 30b minus 30w equals some number such as 240. We can add those together, so we get 60b equals 660, and we get b equals 11, and it's the rate, so it's going to be miles per hour. These work out really nicely. So we did the speed of the boat, check, and now we have to do the speed of the current. So we just pick one of our equations. Let's, let's go back up here and do, um, let's do into this one right here. So we get 5 times 11 plus 5 times W equals 70. 5W equals 55. 70 minus 55 is 15. So the rate of the water is 3 miles per hour. Hopefully you don't find these too difficult. Let's do one more. Slightly different. Okay, the water in the Flint River flows at 5 kilometers per hour. A speedboat can go 15 kilometers per hour upstream. The same time it takes to go 25 kilometers per hour downstream. I have a little accident here. This should be um, upstream. I think I copied these down wrong when I did this. Yeah, let me fix this real quick. This should be downstream right here. Alright, so let's just fill those in. This is upstream. I mean downstream, ah, downstream, downstream, upstream. Okay, if it's going downstream, we're going to add the current onto there. Okay, let's fill it in. Um, the speed of the boat, does it tell us the speed of the boat? No, it says how fast can the boat go. So we don't know that, so we leave B in. The river, the rate of the river is 5. So we can fill that in. Same time, this is our same time thing. So if it says the same time, and for the same rate, you just can take the subscripts off. Distance would be 15 upstream. So this would be 25 downstream. So here we go. Boat, we don't know that. The current is 5. The time, we just leave T because it's the same time. So we don't need subscripts. Equals the time upstream is 15. Distribute. BT plus 5T equals 25. BT minus 5T equals 15. Now we're, gonna, we're going to eliminate this double variable. See the double variable? We have BT here, BT here. So since we don't have, we have two variables, we can just eliminate both of those by taking it times a negative 1. So we get negative BT plus 5t equals negative 15 and the double variable eliminates so we get 10t equals 10 and we get the time equals 1 hour and um, did they ask for the speed of the boat? How fast can the boat go? Okay, so we have to figure out the speed of the boat. We have the time is one hour. So we're just going to substitute it in. I'll just go right for that one. 
you can substitute it in just about anywhere. So you get B, that's what we don't know, T is 1, plus 5 equals 25. The boat equals 20 kilometers per hour. And that is how you do boat in the river problems.